Hi, it's Joy here, and I'm going to show you how to customize and collage your school binders. The first thing you'll need is a one inch plain binder, or any size actually, and you're going to need it to have one of these plastic pockets so you can fit your collage in once you're done. And if your binder does not have one of these plastic covers, then I recommend that you glue your collage to the front and hot glue will work better so it will stay longer and be more durable. The next thing you're going to need is old magazines. Here I have my old Seventeens and Teen Vogues and I think they work really good if you're looking for fashion clips or makeup clips or celebrity clips. The third thing you're going to need is paper, assorted paper, depending on how many binders you're customizing. I like to use this thick paper for the backgrounds and I use the scrapbooking paper that has different words and sayings just in case I can't find exactly what I want in the magazines so I clip out different sayings from here. Two more things you're going to need are scissors and glue. For the scissors I have just a regular pair of big scissors and you can have small ones if you're trying to cut out a tiny little piece that is, you have to have in your collage. And then I have these scissors with the designs just in case you're cutting out your paper for your background and you want it to be a little different. And then you're also going to need glue. I personally, I personally like to use the glue stick because it dries much faster and it's a little less messier just in case you put too much on. But you can also use um, Elmer's white glue if you don't have a glue stick at the moment. There's one last thing that you might need. It's optional and they're like letter stickers and um, these are good for if you couldn't find letters you needed in the magazine or if you wanted to spell out a class you had and these are like 3D so they actually pop out so that would look nice and it also has they also have numbers with them and different designs so you can go with the color palette of your collage and you're going to flip through until you see something that you think is worth cutting out for your collage so once you find something, say you wanted to cut out this high heel, then you can go ahead and do that. Or you can cut out, say you like Nicki Minaj and you just wanted to cut out her name. You should also cut out words just to put that out there. So your collage will be different. And say you wanted like a quote like that, live your fantasy, you can cut that out. And... You can also cut out these nail polish, like the ads, they're good because they have like all the colors and you have an assortment of what you wanted to pick out. So let me cut some out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut out a few things that I would like to include in my collage. I cut out some sparkly letters, nail polish, the word dream. Um, the British flag, nail strips, um, candy, a pretzel, the word drama, queen, because I might want to fit that together in the collage. Just keep your mind open when you're looking at your um, clippings because there's a world of opportunity of what you can do with it. A little purse, some Nike sneakers. Um, also, it's good to cut out like little designs that you see because they can come in handy when you're layering and they look really cute and you can also cut out um say you like drama but you didn't want king there so you can cut off the king or whatever and i cut out like for celebrities i cut out justin bieber and since I'm a swimmer, I cut out the word swim. And when you're looking at your clippings, you can decide if you want it to be a themed 
collage or you just want it to be random either way works they both look really good at the end and after you have them cut out you're going to want to trim them which is really important because you don't want them to look really weird so you see this word drama how it's kind of uneven and not shaped to it I'm going to want to cut it out so it's more like this lipstick like I cut it out around the shape so I'm gonna do that to all my clippings and then I'll be right back okay now that I've cut them out to fit the shape trim them up and made them look nice I'm going to take one of my thick papers to be the background of my collage and then I'm going to start organizing them on the page how I think I'd want them so one good tip is to start with the biggest things so when you layer them you won't have to put really small things under the huge things that you have so I put that candy because that's one of the biggest pieces I want to include in the collage and then dream because that's also big and then one cool thing I'm going to do is I have this purse and I'm going to make it like it's hanging so I'm going to put one side under the dream and one side over it so it looks like it's actually on there and then I'm gonna add like a lipstick there um and it's pretty much a trial and error thing um depending on where you want things and what looks best so I'm going to do this collage and then I'll be right back with the finished product. Okay, so this is pretty much my collage and how I want it to look when I'm done. And now that I have it all arranged, you can go and glue yours down. And just remember to start with the bigger things and then add on. And it's okay if when you glue it down it doesn't look exactly the way you started because it's a collage and no one will know how it was supposed to look and in this collage I use a lot of things that I like like Justin Bieber swim a passion for film I love nail art and I'll be posting some nail art videos soon so I included a lot of nail polish Facebook so I use the like symbol um love dream I love leopard print so I did a leopard purse and that's pretty much it so you can glue yours down and I'll be back with the finishing product for my finished product I'm showing you another collage I did just so you can get an idea of what different ones look like and for this one I did a fashion and beauty collage and I had a girl in a really cute outfit actually two and I did a whole bunch of designer names collaged around like Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton and Fendi then I did high heels sunglasses a little bit of makeup and nail polish so this is my finished product it's all glued down and dried so what you're gonna want to do is take your binder and then you're gonna slip it into this front cover so that it will fit in your binder. Now that it's all in my binder, I'm ready to go. And on this collage, I did not include my subject, but you could do that. You can put like math over it, or you can, in this little side space, you can cut out a thin strip of paper and write the subject. And you also have the side area for writing the subject and I also did a small collage on the back which I'm going to show you and it has black and white on one side and pink on the other side and what I did to make this was I took a pink piece of paper then I glued white on half of it then I cut out a whole bunch of black and white pictures and then a whole bunch of pink pictures and I put them around the two models and Nicki Minaj and then I cut it out around all the shapes on the paper then I slipped it in my binder 
And then one more thing I did was I got a green divider to match the green background so it, it all comes together. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own DIY collage binders, and I hope you have as much fun as I did making them. And you can respond to this video with your own video of you making them. And please comment, subscribe, rate, and comment with some videos you want me to make soon. I'm thinking about doing some nail art videos, some more DIY school supplies, um, anything. So thanks, and this was Joy, and goodbye.